Okay folks, in this lesson I'm going to show you how to create a very complex selection outline using the background eraser tool. What we want to do is move this tree, this tree in the foreground here, into this image right here, moon.jpg. And you can download both of these files from the website and follow along with me if you like. But as I was saying, normally this creating a selection outline with something as complex as this tree would present a very difficult problem for the normal selection tools but the background eraser tool is going to do just a magnificent job for our purposes so let's get started with the lesson now the first thing I want to do is create a copy of this background layer and to do that I'm going to jump it to another layer create a copy in the process just by um, hitting control J and that's going to jump the entire background layer to another layer, its own layer, and now what I want to do is hold down the control key and hit this new layer button. That's going to create a new layer under the layer that I had selected. And now I want to fill this layer with a um, with a sort of a bright color, something with a lot of contrast we can use to easily identify what pixels we're erasing. Something uh, like this magenta right here. So Select that magenta as your foreground color, and then with this layer selected, hit Alt Backspace. And that's going to fill that entire layer with that magenta color, and now we're ready to get started. Now the first thing I want to do is um, get rid of as much of this image as I can before I start using the background eraser tool. And to do that, I'm going to use my favorite selection tool, the pen tool. Okay, so let me click on that and then I want to make sure I'm drawing paths with it which is whoops which is this one right here okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and start clicking and dragging okay if you had the uh, pen lesson earlier if you followed along with that this should be easy for you I'm just lay down some points here I'm gonna click click and drag click and drag click and drag and then click click and I'm holding down the space bar on the fly that gives me the hand tool so I can pan around in the image and Folks, learn to use the pen tool. It's wonderful. And if you're going to learn Adobe Photo or Adobe Illustrator, it'd be one step ahead of the game. All right, I'm going to hit Control Zero to uh, zoom out, and then I'm going to right-click and say Make Selection Out of This Path. And I'm going to anti-alias it just because that's a habit of mine. It doesn't really matter here. And then say OK. And now that's not the selection I want. I want to invert that selection because I'm going to delete the selection. OK? All the pixels inside of the selection. So hit um, Control Shift I for invert. That's going to invert your selection. And then select layer 1 here. And then just hit the delete key. And you'll delete that part of the image that we don't want to have anything to do with anymore. Okay, now we can start working with the background eraser tool. Let me deselect what we got going here. So hit uh, Control D. That'll deselect that selection. And then I just zoomed in by hitting Control and Spacebar simultaneously, giving myself the zoom tool. And I zoomed into a part of the image right here. All right, let's get started. Let me get the um, background eraser tool is somewhere around here. There we go. Background eraser tool. Now, when you're using this tool, folks, let me explain what's going on. Now, you see the little crosshair there inside of my brush. When I click, Photoshop is going to sample that tone of that color right there, and it's going to erase all the pixels within the radius of my brush that match that color within a tolerance of, in this case, 20. 
Okay, 20%. That's a, I don't exactly know what that means, but watch what happens when I click. Okay, now you can see it erased some of those pixels, and it doesn't, it's not a uh, all or nothing proposition here. You can see some of those pixels look a little bit dirty, and that's because it partially erased them, but that's okay. That'll work fine for us, and I'll show you why later. Let me adjust the tolerance here and watch what happens. First, let me back up a step. Watch what happens if I set the tolerance too high. It's going to start to include some pixels that I definitely do not want to include. You see how it started to select, select some of that tree? We don't want that. So you can adjust your tolerance until you're getting a good result here. Let me uh, hit Control-Z again. And I think 20 is actually a pretty good number. Yeah, that's good. It's, it's um, not selecting any of the brown here in the branches, but it's it's selecting most of these pixels, enough where it's going to uh, be able to give me a good selection outline when we go to move this into another image. And now all I do is go around putting my crosshairs on the background color, that blue, which is the sky, and go clicking around the image. And you can see what I'm doing is I'm erasing the sky and seeing through down to this magenta layer. Okay? Now you can see as I do this, it's partially selecting some pixels. You can see these dirty pixels here. Those are partially selected pixels, but they should not present a problem when we go to move this. And that's because when we um, create the actual outline for what's going to move into the other image, if those are below 50% selected, they won't go with us. So I'll show you what I'm talking about here. I've got about uh, two or three more minutes of work here, so I'm going to go ahead and pause it. And uh, after I finish, I'll start the recording again. See you back here shortly. Okay, folks, I'm almost done, but I want to show you this technique here. Y you don't have to just click. You can also click and hold and paint, and that'll help you get rid of some of the um, partially selected pixels around the outside edge. You can see me just painting along here, cleaning up some of those partially selected pixels. Right now I'm holding my mouse button down and just dragging along. Okay, I'm going to hit Control Zero, zoom out to uh, put the entire tree on the screen, and let's go ahead and take a look here. Now to view this as a selection outline, first of all, go ahead and turn off layer two here and turn off the background layer. Okay, you can see already that looks pretty good. Now, but to view it as a selection outline, what you want to do, come over here to the Layers palette, and then hold down the Control key and click right here on this little thumbnail. And what's, what that's going to do, it's going to select all the filled pixels and leave deselected all the transparent or non-filled pixels. So this is what we're left with, uh, the selection outline, the marching ants here is our selection and now we can go ahead and move it into this moon.jpg layer and to do that hold down the control key drag it up to this tab right here and after it changes go ahead and drag it in and release and then go ahead and reposition wherever you want that tree well up to you I don't really want to cover up that nice moon and Jupiter and whatever other planet that is, something like this. I don't know if that really fits in there, but for demonstration purposes, you can see what I mean. And you can, uh, you can keep that selection outline or use it again um, by doing the same thing, holding down the control key and clicking here. And now with that selection outline, you can add a adjustment layer by doing this. And you can colorize that uh, tree to more match this red sunset here, and it's easy to do. Just uh, you know, play with your sliders here until you get the, the correct tint that you want. Maybe 
something like that fits in the image better. But there you have it, folks, an easy way to select things like trees.